Are you in the Middle East? Where in the world is Link twice if you're in the Middle East. <laughs> you are not going to not... Chantel, we know you. You're not going to not go live for two weeks. Come on now. Huh? Are are you have you are you leaving tomorrow, Chantel? Are you en route, Chantel? Let's have an adult conversation. I had a feeling she was watching. I really did. I, I really did. That's so she did. saw my voice. Hola, cómo estás? Give hala. Can you tell me Arabic? Hala, give hala. Chantel, yeah, two go. weeks. You're not going to go live for two weeks. Uh, I don't believe that. Why are you not going live for two weeks? There's no way. No way. Yeah, we're, we're just glad that you're going to be gone so you're, you don't have to be driving high, putting other people at, in, in danger. Maybe you're dumb beezers, uh, some of them. Maybe they believe you that you're not high, but we're not stupid. Um, we were just about to sign off to, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Dun, dun, oh. dun. We got the special guest. So we'll see We'll see you in Kuwait in a couple of days. Maybe, or maybe she went and they, they, threw, they told her to get, come back. Maybe they threw her back. <laughs> they told her, nope, 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 you're not coming here. <laughs> hey, Antonis. Well, I'm interested to see what happens. That's for darn Yeah, sure. me too. We'll see. We shall see. Hey, Bubble Tea. So where's the honeymoon going to be? <laughs> Chantel, you're teasing us. I know you are. I know you are teasing us. I'll say this. Just for the record, I hope that our trip goes smoothly. Okay, that was very nice. So we don't want anything bad to happen to you on your trip. We want Chantel, why would we want... It wouldn't even make sense why, why reaction channels would want to see you hurt on your trip. Like, because... Then what would we talk about, Chantel? There you go. Okay. No, we, yeah, we don't think like her. We're not evil people. See, now she's saying no, want. not two weeks. Okay, thank you. Foodie, while you're in here, I don't that. need to know. I love coming up on panels, but I don't hate you at all. I just say opinions when people ask me stuff. I, I don't hate you or anybody. Just so you know from me. So, so Chantel, um, and honestly, yeah, I don't hate you either. Um, we do want, we don't want like uh, bad things to happen, but uh, we just want you to do the right thing. We want you to do the right thing. That's all. Um. Hey, Antonis. Thank you for the super sticker. Thank you so much. So, see, Amanda said, yes, we do. <laughs> well, there's a variety uh, of opinions. Yeah. I think we can accept that. Hey, West Coast, Wes. Chantel, we don't go after your looks or your, your, you're the one that makes fun of everybody. We go after the actions. When I, when I see you high on, in the car. I have been you, petty and gone. I have been petty. I, I'll admit it. Yeah, well, yeah petty. Well, we all have been petty because we go back and forth. That's what happens. But my issue with her has never been about her weight because that's not who we are, especially this channel. Our issue is when she does something like disrespecting Islam or, or it's trying to lie and say, oh, I'm not high, but she is. And you know, it's like, well then don't wear the hijab. My issue right now is her when she was driving high. That is my issue. Yeah. And yeah. we would never, and the thing is, if he really, if he actually, he's, he's, he would be more of an asshole if he actually does that to you. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't I know. do it, Cookie. I, I'm going to, I was planning to sign off anyway. I already said that a minute ago, but okay. I'm just going to say, I, good luck to everybody. I hope everybody has, as, as good luck. That's what I'm just going to say that. Be blessed, everyone. You too, Dr. Phil. Thank yeah. you. Dr. Phil is the voice of reason sometimes. Um, yes, he thanks. Is. Thanks for what you said, foodie. I know, I know my senior to you, but thank you a lot. That, that just was awesome to hear that. Thank you. Well, we hope you are. We really do. If he's actually yeah. true, that would be amazing. If it really is true, that would be amazing. But if he actually does go ahead and does everything that we've been saying, then you're going to know one day why we were saying all these things. You're going to know where we were coming from. Yeah, because like I feel like when we've always warned you about natter, 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 yeah. natter, yeah. like, and then so much time went by and, and we, it's and frustrating. We believed, uh, we believed what he did. We always believed what he did. Oh, we, I believe he was. Uh, yes, I believed it. And it's like you, you did. You felt bad. I felt bad for her. I mean, there are times like I would, you know, I would feel bad because, okay, you know how you like you hear reaction channels go, going after her and when he after she came back with from him. But then it's like it's all, you know, it's all the same song and dance, unfortunately, with him. But yeah. my issue, like I said, we don't go after your weight. The problem is th that your actions. Um, I, I'm not a, I'm not um, so I'm not like pushing aside what Foodie's done and those actions. But I've also always maintained that I don't like to see anybody um, harmed in real life, I guess. Um, so we put out information so that, um, Chantal can make, hopefully, uh, I guess, take responsibility for actions, come to some kind of resolution with it. And maybe, uh, she'll hear us one of these days, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. We call her out on her, on her crap. Okay. We call her out on her crap. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I've, I've always maintained that I don't, I don't like to see anybody hurt. Of course, because if he does do if he does do what what it is we were talking about, then he's a bigger a, a, a hole than you know than her. Like 
you know, well, I, I think they're both. Thought. I think they're both um, wrong. <laughs> they're both wrong. Yeah. But if he does, you know, especially like you uh, uh, taking advantage of a woman, and that's why we keep saying, wake up. Oh, but she, if she truly believes that he loves her and he's going to take care of her, well, hey, only time will tell, right? And like I said, we, I will come up on here and who already talked about what I want to I told you in three years, Chantel, yeah. if you're still with him. Oh, God, I don't even want to. Because I don't even like feet at all. <laughs> I but, say, um, I'm going to cut my hair. God. <laughs> I'll just go buy a wig. <laughs> I, I will... Um, apologize to you three months the valentine's day three months from now and uh Nobody three months no not three months three years three years yeah. <laughs> valentine's day three years from now what am i saying i'm tired um but as a as a person i <laughs> no i don't i don't want to see chantelle hurt i want her to do better i want her to do i want you to do better chantelle i want you to own your shit and do better that's it that's it that's all you i want you to do chantelle i actually yeah. had i had been chantelle you did do better and all the dreams we were hanging out you were happy you were doing great. I hope that could come true. I don't hate you. And I won't make any more rude weight comments. I am so sorry I ever did that. Sometimes I just get emotional. And sometimes I will just say things when I... Feel and we are mad about the cats. I'm still mad about the cats. I'm not going to lie. I wish you would see that. Because everybody would do... If you're a real friend and you thought... And, and she was right, though. I She's a mad at Shannon. Shannon was right. That's the thing that's killing me. Like, do you, But you knew Shannon was right. It doesn't matter. If Shannon... Uh, I would do the same as Shannon. If my friend was in trouble and I was... I would be desperate. I would go anywhere just to like... You know, I would tell anybody, help me. No, you know what I mean? Like anybody would do that for their friend. If their friend is not listening and they're somewhere that's in a, you know. I'm not mad FFG has BBJ. I'm going to say I'm not. No. Because I think, and I don't think, and it's not FFG. And you know she even, loves her dog. It's not so. even FFG that has BBJ. It's her no. family. And BBJ is, is I believe, happy. And I'm and I'm not mad about it because you did um, do some emotional shit to us with that cat. And I'm not. You did though. You did some like emotional, you would say things on purpose to hurt the audience with the cats. And I'm not for that. I'm not for that. But Chantel, you guys were already talking. You went online. She was in a fragile state. She could have unalived herself and you outed her and let everybody know that she that she was, uh, what she was going through. She, if she watched that, God knows what she would have done to herself. You know, because she even came afterwards. Like, this is somebody that cared about you. She didn't do it out of, of course, when she did the channel, it was after all the anger and everything that you did to her and throwing her away instead of putting her, you put, you should have put her before uh, Nader. And you know, and you saw, we were all right about him. We saw, like, it wasn't a flag. It was a truck that what, what came at you. I mean, you could see all this. Well, you see it now, but what just upsets me. And then of course the cat, which you were just talking about, Sarah. Yeah. But nobody would ever wish uh, harm on you. You think it's that the cat, though, somebody... and we don't want you to be, and I don't want you to be driving high either. Um, that's not okay. Like, and you know you've done it, and don't try to say you haven't because you have, mm -hmm. and you just done it the other day. Um, there are people legit hating on me for trying to make right with Foodie just because I don't no, want problems no, with Foodie, and I wish well for her. Even no, though you always things kind of are... no, no, no hate to Sarah. She's always been the same. She, she's kind person, and and she's always it, it's okay. That's that's who. Not saying. everybody wants to yeah. see. Um, not everybody wants to, um, like, just, uh, exactly. I'm sorry, go ahead. I understand. Look, I respect everybody's anger. I do. I respect everybody's anger um, and where it's being directed because I, 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 I a lot has happened and it, and it is, and it is um, justified. It's justified and you can absolutely feel the way you do. Um, but Sarah is allowed to feel the way she does too. Sarah is allowed to feel the way she does too. And I love people. And even if they've done things that are upsetting, I don't hate people. So now you're going to hate me. For not yeah. making bad things for foodie because she's still a human. Wow, thank yeah. you. Wow. Nobody has to like. Nobody has to like Chantel. No, that's not. Yeah, Sarah, Sarah is free to have her opinion, and it's not wrong. Or it's not right. It's it's her opinion, and it's not a bad thing. She's she always looks to see the best in everyone. Maybe we all don't agree uh, with one another, but it's okay. She has um, she has the right to feel the way she does, and it's okay. Even if somebody disagrees, yeah, with we her. do. We welcome different opinions here, and that's yes. that's why I um I always welcome different opinions here. Uh, absolutely. And everybody, everybody is welcome here and nobody has to agree. And that's the beauty, beauty of it. That's the beauty of it is that everybody can come here. Yeah, and no, say, Sarah, Sarah, um, the thing is, it's about what happens after today because she comes here and she's saying about no more toxicity, et cetera, et cetera. Well, let me see tomorrow. Are you going to see that to us. FFG on alive to her dogs or this, you know, just things like, or, or call actions speak way louder than words, owning your shit and going online and saying and owning it. And then taking exactly. that action and showing it means way more to me than words. Yeah. spoken. Exactly. Like, yes, I was. Yes, I was high because I can't, because I, I, because I can't help myself. That's owning it because we all can see it. People don't respect you when they see that you're lying and telling them, Oh no, I'm not. High. We know you are. Come on, just admit it, admit it. And do not drive high. That's like common sense. You, you are endangering other people. This is nothing to do with attack on you as your body or whatever. If this is about other people's lives. You want to endanger your life, that's fine. But you you have no right to get on in the car and drive while you're high. And you clearly were. Pocket, thank you. Pocket. 
Now, nobody has to give anybody chances here. I don't I expect that from anybody. I didn't mean to cause drama on your channel. I was no, just being no, everybody, no, it's not drama. You can have your opinion. Everybody can have that. Everybody's entitled to how they want to feel. That's entitled to how they want to feel. But actions, for me, speak way louder than words. That's all I'm going to say. Can I ask Fudi one last question? Fudi, does it bother you if I pray for you? Because I've been praying for people, and I would pray for you, too, that things go okay. Maybe that dream I had comes true. I don't think I'm mentally ill for trying to be kind to people. I know she hasn't done some things that, you know, but I'm just being who I am, and I don't give up on almost anyone. That's just who I am. Huh, yeah. And and rightfully so, and, and, and I... I can respect how Sarah feels and I can respect how you guys feel because the truth of the matter is that um, we've been shown time and time again that uh, that that the words and the actions don't line up. But it's okay. For, I'm just saying it's okay for Sarah to have her own, own thoughts and feelings on it. Um, Angelina Bellarina said, you are so sweet, Sarah. Sarah, you don't have to defend yourself. Fighting evil with evil does no good for anyone. As you said, foodie, you will be left penniless and used and maybe even in legal trouble. Um, Julia said she prays on impasse. Pocket said Salah had more care. Hold on. The chat jumped up when I was reading. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I hate when it does that and I leave it. Uh, Bubble T said, I'll pray for your bank account, foodie beauty. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> Doe said, who gives a shit about carpets? <laughs> and I don't know what that means. Why do <laughs> I'm lost. Hey, Barney. Barney is my favorite dinosaur, guys. Barney is my favorite dinosaur. Um, Jolie T, you're not blocked. You're not blocked. Um, uh, I guess what I'm saying is I have hope for everyone. Everyone okay. has a chance to change and be happy as well. I wish that for everyone. Why are you guys hating Abby? Because it's much for her, even though she still doesn't think they aren't pleasant, but why? It's okay. I'm a uh, Christian, all right? I have Jesus in my heart. We're all people. I care about her, too. It's okay. It's okay, Sarah. It's okay. Um, girl. Um, why don't you take a break, Sarah? It's okay. We love you. And, um, I don't want your, your, your buzzing to charge anyway. So I, I don't want you to get upset. Please don't feel yeah. bad. No, I'm fine. I always hard because, because the right thing. It's always everybody hard. said you're cool, Sarah. You're um, cool. People love you. Here comes Doad Cookie. I see you, Doad Cookie. Hello, mm -hmm. Doad yeah. Cookie coming in. Hey there, girl. Hi, Hi. Hey, girl. How are you? I'm oh, doing cookie. really well. I'm beautiful, and Sarah is Sarah T is a lovely young lady, and she is beautiful, and she has Jesus in her heart. However, I do not. Oh. And I have some stuff I want to say, if you would allow me, Sarah. Absolutely. Go ahead. Okay. Chantal, foodie beauty, can eat all of the dicks. And she can go and eat all of the shit. This fake ass apology tour can go, she can go and crumple it up into that little ball and shove it straight up her ass. Nobody believes this energy she's trying to give. She's fake as fuck. She's not sorry. Because if she was truly sorry and truly wanted to change, she would have done this before she allowed her cat to have its claws go into her paws, before she would have thrown cat biscuits on the floor to feed her cat. She would have taken her cats back to the vet. She would have cleaned that villa so they had a beautiful space to live in. She would care about the landlords changing the carpets because she would have kept her fucking carpets clean. Mm. Eat, dick, die in a ditch, foodie. I hope Salah fucks 15 women before you get over there. I hope you get all the venereal diseases. I hope all your pickles are sour. Fuck off and keep fucking off. That's all I wanted to say, really. Don't tell us how you really feel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I yeah, this is why I think it's okay bullshit. to have opposite opinions because yeah. it's healthy. It's healthy. And I don't think we should be coming hard on Sarah T because she's never come at foodie with this energy. This is this is how she is with everybody. She's not soft. Sarah's a sweet soul, you guys. She doesn't flip flop. She wants everybody to be okay. She still has hope for foodie. I do not. I think Chantal is just one of the worst people I've ever encountered in my entire life. She doesn't want to change. She's just trying to get some face back because everybody hates her guts because we don't like animal abusers. And she's been outed as a prolific long term animal abuser. Uh, beauty by Rose, why, why did we not keep it real? Why? Because because we're saying that we don't. I've always maintained that. Why, why you think we're going to. Do you think we, that we're kissing her butt or something? 
Well, no, well, I've always well, maintained well, that I don't wish harm uh, on her. Is that what it is? Oh. I don't wish harm on anybody. That's just oh. me as a person. Yeah, but we I, do, want to, I do want Chantel to be accountable for her actions. Yeah. The three of so us said, I've always maintained are on that. a spectrum when it comes to how much we dislike and how we treat Chantal. This is the same energy Sarah gives when I talk to her privately. This is the same energy I give when I talk to Sarah privately. She doesn't go back and forth. This is the same energy Sarah has for Chantal. She doesn't want bad stuff for her. I do. I want her to stub a toe every time she walks a place. I yeah. want her uh, uh, holes in her clothes, itchy skin. I want really and I'm okay bad with that too because that's those that is those feelings, and I, yeah. I respect those feelings. And so um, it doesn't feel the same as me. I've never said, "Oh, I wish." Um, Chantel doesn't have consequences. I wish Chantel doesn't uh, take responsibility, but I don't want any human to ever hurt. That's just me. I have always been, um, I don't. No, no, Chantel, I don't want you to die. I want you to be really, 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 really uncomfortable for the rest of your life. And I hope your life is really, 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 really long. So it's really, really, really bad. That's what I want for you. Everybody in this chat has different, um, uh, feels different ways about um, what has happened and, and i'm just saying that's that's okay i i am mad at i do get mad at chantel a lot and i have been petty with her and 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 um i don't agree with how she treated bbj absolutely not um that is that to me chantel when you that cat should have went to the vet the minute that people offered um bbj no 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 that cat should have been gone to the vet because she oh i know but i'm saying right i'm saying when take when, care of when, an elderly cat yes she the should cat not have been should... forced or pushed to take a cat to the vet she should have done it because she knew it was the right thing to do to take care at a base level of your animal when when that thing happened when pete said bbj wasn't right um you should have allowed the mobile vets to come to your house because people offered to pay for it and people offered to do it like um how do you say it without uh, well, well, you Chantel, you were home for a month. And wait, wait a minute, her. not even that. You why were, why were you driving high? You were why her. were you driving high? That's what I want to know. Why were you driving high? Don't even try to deny it. Answer that fucking question. Why were you driving high? That's what I want to know. Don't even try to say that you were not. So, foodie, I have different viewpoints and see things different than other people, and we all have our own. You were driving high, Chantel. You were driving high. I don't want you driving high because I don't want you. To get hurt. Okay, so it just shows that you don't change. Okay, it just showed right now. We just said right, that that this, like you were talking about, Sarah. Actions speak louder than words. And uh, when you when you leave here, how you're going to act? You right now, you just proved you will never change. It's over and over and over and over the same thing. Mm. The way you speak, we all know you so well. Yep. And you were driving high. Don't you dare! Don't you dare lie! Don't you dare mm. lie! Mm. So, Chantal, this, what's it pisses me off that you put that hijab on and act like you're a good Muslim, and here you are sitting here. I'm sorry, just like no, no, you go. Go ahead, no, go ahead. What does real abuse look like? You're what, gaslighting what you us, Chantal. Abuse? You are gaslighting us. Do you mean hitting a, a cat? Do you mean kicking a cat like Nada did to BBJ? Is that real abuse? I would think ongoing neglect, such as not bathing her, brushing her, putting food in a clean bowl, in a clean area, allowing her nails to grow into her paws, which doesn't happen overnight. That happens over days and weeks. Two grown adults could not observe cat's nails, seeing them grow into her paws. I did not even fertility close shame to the you. Pads stop that stop taken putting words in. Oh, no. I'm sorry, though. I'm sorry. I did not fertility shame you. I did not fertility shame you. That is so you. stupid. Well, this is what I told you, and this is the truth. First of all, you were making fun of me, which I could care less. Oh, she doesn't speak good Arabic. How do you know? How do you know? Because Salah you don't speak Arabic, so how would you even know? Yeah. Second of all, what I said was something that's the truth mm -hmm. because I lived there, I grew up there, and I know how it is. You, um, you can't have children, and the most one of the most important things uh, is for <laughs> them to carry the family name. Okay, then don't tell me he's modern schmodern. Uh, don't give me that. Kuwait is, is a conservative Muslim country, and his mm -hmm. family is going to want him to have children. And Kuwait, you can't adopt. So don't be telling infer infertility shame because I told Murad. So how is that his family okay with that? Like she she can't have kids. She has a terrible no. life. You know, Chantal, I've never called you a hippo. I've never said that about you in your life. So if somebody said it, wasn't me. So don't put that onto me. Oh, one I did. Say you smell thing. like blue sheep because you said you did. It's not a collective group. If one one reactor says one thing about you, that is on them. You do not lump that on an entire community. It's not all of us saying it. That's one person. Keep it straight. And Pete said you smell like blue cheese. So go talk to your ex-best friend about that. He this said is that. the reason, Chantal. See, you already said you're, oh, I'm going to you're on, you're you're on, on take accountability for shit. Mm -hmm. you're, you're on YouTube. Like you're if you don't want people in your business, you're on YouTube. I was translating. Your mama wanted me to translate. So I was interviewing Murad. And one of the things I asked him that didn't make sense to me is how is this 20-year-old man wanting want to be with somebody and his family's going to want? Because family... Uh, it always interferes with your choices, right? and family want you to marry somebody that that's healthy, that can have children, that's respectful, that's educated, that's a good housewife, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And having kids is literally on the top one. That's and you're none of those things. You don't meet one single KPI that mother-in-law would want in any culture. That's and don't I'm come out say. trying to say all this stuff now. You, what did you wish, Didi, saying that you 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 wanted Didi to get? You know what? I can't say that on here because you you you, you know what you did. You know what you, you said. said that you did. wanted Didi at best to get choked out and hurt by Nada. That's what you said about Didi. You didn't give a crap what happened to her. And I've got a clip of you yeah, saying that. So don't even what, try and pretend. 
I'm going to give Chantel the link if anybody needs to get down. If you want to come up and talk, let's have a grown woman conversation. How about mm. that? How was Didi abusive to you? How, how was she abusive that to you? That doesn't matter. She could say the worst things about you in the world. You don't wish that on another woman. Let's have a grown woman conversation. Absolutely. Because even we talk, we don't, we don't like you. We don't An even say that either. We don't ever say that. that. An empath would never say such a thing. A victim would never say such a thing. They would never want that for another woman, ever. So Jennifer, whatever her name is, why are you hating on me so bad? What did I do to you? It's okay. Just, you know, it's, I mean, it, it, people are, she does, not everybody's going to agree with you, unfortunately. That's the nature of, um, that's the nature of being here. I'm, s I don't know how you do YouTubers do it. How do you do it? I don't take, we don't go on every day and we, we, we take, take breaks. Yeah. We don't take real I, don't take that that we like I just like realized that. that there are several people in the world and they have their own opinions and that's okay with me. Yeah. I don't take, I try not to take it personal, so. Thank God there are nice people in the world like Sarah T, though, because if everybody walked around like me, the world would be a very angry, fist-fighting kind of place. We need people like Sarah T to make the world softer and gentler, because yeah. we can't all carry the same energy, and that's good. She won't come up. She's too much of a poor Sarah. Why do you have to go, foodie? Yeah, she's not coming up. Yeah, no, all right. good. that's why. She's poor Sarah. No, I'll believe everything you say when I see it. Until then. Uh, it is dick, Hotel. Take care. Take care of this. Douche. She, Chantel can't take responsibility, and that's her problem. Yeah. Instead of when we brought up the cat, she goes, but I was going to take her to the vet, but you didn't. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Go live in Gunnadoo, Chantel. And, and where is your this. apology for it? Oh. And oh. where is your, where is, where are you, where is you taking responsibility in this situation. You know what's funny? You know what's really, really funny? She can take the time to sit down before she came home in Kuwait to organize, get online, and book herself a couple hundred dollars worth of Lush products, but she can't get online to book a cat appointment and spend a couple mm -hmm. hundred dollars to get her cat checked exactly. out. Lush yeah. is obviously the priority, and it's not doing your skin any good. It still looks like shit. 